really contemplate before you speak, for me to contemplate before I speak, because when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to myself. Um, and who am I talking to myself is probably myself talking to myself pretty wild, isn't it? But t teaching me or telling me what it is that I want and then I'm the one who's the one responsible for me because even if you say they made me do it, you're thinking that, you're speaking that, you're believing that, you're emotionalizing that because of the reality, this is the world of effects. This is the past. It's like driving your car by keeping your eyes on the rear view mirror. So what you're always, you're never where you are. You're always in the past. And then the past is creating your future because that's what you're doing habitually. So who's going to do it for you? And that's the thing. Each of us is then, in that sense, co-creating whatever, our own reality, our own experience. And because you are eternity itself, um, no one or nothing is keeping you or me or anyone from being who they really are. And that's where you want to practice now by, in a sense, in that breathing process, uh, slow breathing, meditating, centering in your heart, and instead of all the distractions everywhere out there to keep you from going within to where your power is. Turn yourself, awareness to yourself everywhere present, all-knowing, all-powerful, divine source, mother, father, source, God, whatever you call, loves all of us, adores us.